catch fishing in Kenya's Kisumu County was embraced almost a decade ago. But even as many were still learning the new ways of fish farming, disaster struck. Locals in the expansive lake are agonizing over the loss of millions of shillings they invested in fish caging after the death of the fish stock. Most of the cages are empty despite the promise of the fish cage culture as the new socio-economic frontier that would change the fish farmers' lives. At the moment, I have 16 cages which all had fish. Despite all that, we have recorded big losses due to the deaths on this lake. According to the government, we were told that the waters don't have enough oxygen. The Kenya Maritime and Fisheries Research Institute reported that apart from climate change, sedimentation of organic materials and nutrients in the lake and red algae blooming has contributed to the death of fish in the lake. First thing uh, that needs to be done is to look an inventory of all cages where they are located. We've already done that. And uh, then we inform all the fish farmers which areas are suitable. And when they apply for licenses or permits, they should apply, f they should look out the maps, the suitability maps, and uh, request for those areas that are suitable for cage fish farming. Areas with water circulation, uh, good water circulation, and that are also still accessible to the shoreline, making it cost effective. Data by Kemfrey shows there are over 6,000 fish cages on the Kenyan portion of Lake Victoria, with each cage having the capacity to produce one ton annually. Years back, many traditional fishermen resorted to invest in cage fish farming, but right now, the challenges, and with that, they are moving their cages to actually deeper waters to make sure they maximize their catch. There are already new dynamics as the shift gradually happens. The cost of moving to deeper waters with an engine-powered boat means higher cost of fuel and hiring boats for longer periods. Uh, in this business, when we started, there had been an increase of uh, the cost of feeds. The feeds is extremely expensive. Even when we started, we were buying at one bag at around 2,500. Currently, we are buying that one bag of 25 kgs at 4,500. So that is a challenge. When you compare with the, uh, uh, with the current prices of fish, you know, it's becoming a little bit challenging. The farmers who lost their fish are said to benefit from $30,000 compensation to buy fingerlings and feeds courtesy of the Kisumu County government. Now the thing now we must do, and I'm glad somebody is really discussing with us, possibilities of investing on uh, uh, producing uh, fish feeding products here. We are discussing with an investor, and it, it's moving pretty fast. And I think the moment we have f the food for fish produced locally at a price they can afford, that will increase the return to capital of cage farmers than it is at the moment. So it is, I think it's something that they cannot regret. They are already getting good money, especially if you do it at a scale that makes sense economically, you cannot lose at all. Because once you invest in cage farming, the only thing you do is buy the fish feeds and harvest the fish. Amid the ongoing challenges, farmers are hopeful better days are coming. The amount of fish they get from the sale is not what they desire, but they are running better earnings as industry players seek for more solutions. Nick Mudimba, CGTN, Kisumu County, Kenya.